I'm just looking for one condemnation. You animal. So we were at the Texas State Democrat Convention taping a 4th of July theme to change my mind to be released on July 2nd when we noticed a familiar face. It's Firebomb Lady. That's the girl who posted our location in Austin precisely and called for people to firebomb our car. And then doubled down with a second post for additional domestic terrorism context. So I decided to confront her. Hey, kids. Say what again? Say what again? How are you today? Quick question for you. Why would you encourage people to firebomb my van? Why would you do that? Do you think that's appropriate to encourage people to firebomb my van and hurt my crew when we're just expressing a difference of opinion? Sorry, could you repeat that? Why would you threaten to firebomb my van or encourage other people to do it? At first, she just denied, denied, denied. Good thing we brought a Bristol board. As a matter of fact, we have your pictures oh, right here of your tweets, of you posting our location, right? Let's hold, let's hold that for me there. Nah, KJ. So, is that the way you deal with civil disagreements? I've heard a lot of people talk about calls to civility with President Trump and conservatives, but what about this? What about firebombing someone, committing acts of violence? I, I would never encourage acts of violence against you. I don't want anyone to ever hurt you. Nothing, huh? This is the tolerant left. No, my feelings aren't hurt. I just don't want to be firebombed. It really, doesn't really have a place in today's political discussion, wouldn't you say? Why the eye roll? You think it does have a play a role? As long as it's the right target? Really? No opinion on this though. What if a conservative, what if Donald Trump were to encourage anyone to firebomb somebody else? Well, when they go to war, that's what they're doing. <laughs> well, we're not in war. We're just having a discussion, no, as we just did with three or four no, Democrats. No, no. At a van? No, literally said saying. we need to kill uh, yeah. innocent families. So. Did he say that? Yeah, when did he say, say that? that? But I didn't say that. But I've never said well, that. Well, you said, what if well, the conservative, said Trump, you said, what if a conservative? What if Trump said this? Do you condemn that? Uh, no, I think it's great. You think, you think it's yeah. great? So you're cool with firebombing people who've never committed an act of violence? Just drone strikes on children. So this doesn't bother you? Doesn't You're okay matter. with encouraging this violence against people? This is silly. I just want to make sure. This is an issue. What? Healthcare is a human right! You are all animals. Healthcare is a human right! You do realize we're filming. It's fine. We'll go ahead and film. You have the right to not have a problem with it. But why don't you answer the question? Healthcare is a human right! Yeah, what about... A van is not a life! No, but what about the people in the van, though? A van is not a life! Healthcare is a human right! No one's gonna speak out against this! Healthcare is a human right! No one's gonna speak out against this! Healthcare is a human right! Healthcare is a human right! Healthcare is a human right! So violence is a human right! Come on, man. Let's not get violent. Let's not get violent. Let's not get violent. I can do this. I can do it all day. You're disrespecting my flag by wearing it on your body. Really? What bothers me is encouraging acts of violence and acting like an animal. You're the one who started the chant. You started the chant. Yes. What's the solution? Non-violent speech. You animals. I'm just looking for one condemnation. Anyone to have an opinion on encouraging acts of violence? I discourage them across the board. Acts of violence against her by posting her face everywhere and trying to get people to hurt her. No, hurt I've her. never done that. What? You, you're posting this is her it. asking people to bomb my van. No, she didn't. You put it on Twitter. Bomb van fire. Take care of it. This was clearly an exercise in futility. So. They brought out the heavy artillery. Stand up, fight back! Good, good. You're a very violent, angry little fella. Stand up, fight back! Thank you. I see you're, you're, you're strong with the mob, but you should be ashamed of yourself. Stand up, you fight back! You missed the cue. You missed the cue. Fights are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! You're on beat. They're all false. Of course not. Do you believe that, that all people, regardless of their race, should have equal opportunities in this country? Absolutely. Nothing to say. Just an apology would be nice. Stand up like that! You are a coward, though. Calling a woman a coward. Calling a woman a coward. You're a coward, too. Oh, my, thank you. Yeah, you're a coward. I have no problem saying you're all cowards. She's a coward. She's a coward. We can see how big of a man you are. You want to go to the restroom? No, 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 no. Come on, man. Let's stop being cowards. And then, of course, they called the brutal, fascist, racist police, uh, who agreed with us that they were dicks. Well, look, see, this lady encouraged acts of violence against me, and so I just was asking her why, and they started shouting me down. Look, is that not, that seems pretty reprehensible, right, to post my location 
and our van and a bomb saying take care of it. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. See that? Anyone who's, anyone who's not with you thinks that's bad. Hey, officer. I was just confronting a lady who encouraged firebombing against my car and asked her why she did it. Don't worry about it. But they had to ask us to leave anyway, which we did. Unfortunately, there still seemed to be some miscommunications. Nazi go home! Nazi go home! It seems they're less offended by the Nazism than by the fact that we had a better booth than them. Pumpkin just forgot to check the floor plan. Oh, well, as you can see on this channel, uh, my first choice is civil discourse. But when you call people to acts of violence, know this, I will find you, I will confront you, and I will shame you. America first. Love the flow. Hey, if you like this video, watch one of these other videos playing in a box next to me. I tell you subscribe. That's what I used to say at one point. Then we said hit the notification bell because subscriptions didn't work. Then we said bookmark the page. But I don't think that's going to work if you're using Google Chrome. So join at lottowithcredit.com slash mugclub. It's 69 a year if you're a student, veteran, or military, and uh, you get to watch the full daily show, and don't be screwed by notifications or subscriptions.